Hello everyone, this is Oboy. In this video, I'm going to talk about Smarter Menu add on for Elementor Pro. I'm also going to share 10 copies of that very add on with the lifetime upgrade included and no restriction when it comes to the number of websites it's been used at. So, what is it all about? I can bet that many of you found themselves very disappointed when it comes to setting up the proper breakpoint for the nav menu widget because you only have two options, literally. To immediately show that mobile drop-down menu for both the tablet and mobile devices or just a little bit later for mobile devices only. In any way, there's only one single thing that actually forces you to make a breakpoint decision and which is the number of menu items that fit the available horizontal space. But the real issue is the fact that menu items sometimes break the line due to the lack of horizontal space before the breakpoint occurs. That's something you can't see by switching responsive mode. You gotta do that by resizing browser's window. So I thought, why not making the nav menu widget be aware of the, of the available horizontal space? That's what makes a lot more sense than just setting up the breakpoint and trying to guess how it's gonna turn out because the result is rarely satisfying. More often it's followed by all kinds of adjustments like, I don't know, decreasing the initial font size, reducing the space between menu items, trying to group items, etc, etc. It's like juggling the sandballs, okay? So I guess you probably already got the point of what I'm talking about here and what problems we are faced with when it comes to choosing the proper breakpoint. So let me show you what I mean by saying that the nav menu widget should be aware of the available horizontal space. I'm going to turn on the smarter menu feature for my target menu and let's see what difference it makes. You can find smarter menu under the style tab. It has its own panel with options. Okay, so I'll just turn it on. Nothing else. I'll leave all other options as is. And now let's get back to the mobile drop-down breakpoint settings. I'm going to do the test with the breakpoint set for mobile devices first. Alright, now switch responsive mode. Everything is just fine. Here's my drop-down toggle button. It all works fine. But let's now take a look what really happens when you resize browser's window out of the editor. What's actually going on behind the scenes, so to speak. I'm going to slowly resize the window to demonstrate. So we are still in desktop mode as you can see, so still in desktop. Now we reach the tablet mode. Let's continue resizing until the hamburger icon becomes visible and once it's there we can be sure that the mobile breakpoint took the place. Okay, and there it is. As you can see all of the menu items that don't fit space are simply grouped under the newly created menu item drop down. That grouping continues until the target breakpoint is reached, be it a tablet or mobile breakpoint. Which means no unwanted line breaks anymore. But the most important is that you actually don't need to define any breakpoint. You can simply let the smarter menu do all the work. And this is how you'll never ever have to be concerned whether the horizontal space suffices the number of menu items or not. Now I'm going to temporarily disable the smart menu feature. Then I'm going to come back to the front end and show you how everything looks like when Smart Menu is disabled. So, if I resize browser's window, all of the menu items that don't fit simply take the new line. And that's something that doesn't look good at all. That's something nobody wants to see. And you might say, yeah, but the menu breaks the line only because you set up the breakpoint for mobile devices. That's true. But the line break might happen if, even if I set the breakpoint earlier for tablet devices. You can see what's going on with, with the menu items in the meantime, in the meanwhile, especially if checking responsiveness in editor only. The point is that you can't know the exact size of the browser window someone's using. It's rarely a full screen, it's more like random. And that randomness might be somewhere between the desktop and tablet size. It might be at the point where the menu line break occurs, okay? I have created the menu with 10 plus items, like 11, I think it's 11, and there's no way to make enough room for all the items, regardless of the font size, item spacing, or any other factor. You can see that Smarter Menu groups all of the items that don't fit, even if some of them already work as drop-down trigger. Um, 
I just gotta mention, whether you like it or not, that this video cannot be one of those where I provide you with the necessary code that you just copy paste at the right place and everything starts to work. Things here are way more complicated. And I was forced to kind of pack all the code into an Elementor add-on that's supposed to make everything as simple as possible for everyone. I said at the beginning that I'm going to share 10 copies of Smarter Menu add-on with my channel subscribers. And here's what you should do. Open my channel homepage. You can do that by clicking on my avatar. Once there, click the About link and send me a private message with the subject Smarter Menu. The message itself doesn't matter, but it must include your YouTube username so I can identify you as a subscriber. So be quick, you're gonna get a free copy of Smarter Menu add-on that is installable as any other WordPress plugin and of course updatable as any other WordPress plugin for a lifetime, okay? And in case you guys missed the opportunity, you'll still be able to buy the add-on from my Gumroad shop for a small fee. The purchase includes, of course, lifetime updates, upgrades, and the unlimited license. All right, let's take a brief look, look at the available options. First of all, you can easily define how the Smarter Menu is going to look like. It can be an icon, the text, or a combo of both. Something that speaks for itself, something that makes things obvious and intuitive. I can't really like to use the horizontal ellipsis icon only, because it represents continuation of something. It reminds you that there's something more, like read more. Of course, the choice is yours, you're gonna do whatever you like. Also, you can control almost every aspect of the menu item, more or less standard features. Paddings, margin, border radius, typography, background and text, or icon color, etc, etc. If you wonder about the drawbacks of Smarter Menu, um, I'd rather say that there's no greater drawback than being unable to have a better control over the breakpoint. That's what makes me go nuts and that's the reason I felt like I gotta do something about it. And if there's a better solution than making a drop down out of menu items that don't fit the space, please let me know. Of course, apart from creating an off canvas menu and which doesn't count in this case. Other than that, everything should be working fine. And that's pretty much it. Once again, be sure to check this video description for more info. Goodbye, thanks for watching, and thanks for the support.